1-800-775-3319. It's time for the Playmaker Spotlight with Executive Coach and Vistage Chair, Dick Smith. Well, welcome to the Playmaker Spotlight of the Get Down to Business radio show, where we speak to CEOs and business owners and share their stories and best practices with you. Playmakers is brought to you in part by Vistage, the world's largest CEO advisory board organization. And I'm your host, Dick Smith, the CEO business coach and an award-winning chair for Vistage International. And tonight, I'm very pleased to have as our guest on our program, Sumit Nagawin. Did I get that right? Almost. Nijawan. It's Sumit Nijawan. That's Nijawan. right. Okay. Sumit Nijawan. Okay. I wanted to make sure I got that right. Who's president of InfoGix? I got that right. Close. InfoGix. Jix. Jix, Jix, InfoGix. All right. <laughs> A little confusing. Headquartered in Naperville, Illinois. From their website, InfoGix is top 10 customers have been with them for more than 20 years. I got that right. Yeah. That is correct. Okay. InfoGix provides end to end data analysis across industries in financial services, in healthcare in insurance, media communications, as well as other areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, By analyzing, processing, and monitoring 100% of data in real time, InfoGix is able to provide proactive and actionable intelligence to manage operational workflows and steps. We're going to ask you more about that. <laughs> I have a nine-year-old niece that listens to the show, and I like it explained so that she can understand. We'll make sure she can articulate our message. <laughs> there you go. Uh, when they ask their customers what they love about working with InfoGix, the answer is always the same. The support of common sense and accessible professionals who invest the time needed to gain a deep understanding of the customer's strategic objectives and how their business operates. So once again... Sumit, welcome, president of InfoGix. Welcome to Playmakers. Thank you, Dick. Great. Hey, uh, tell me a little bit about the CNN version of how did the company get started, your role, and so forth. Did you start the firm? Uh, I did not. The company was uh, started by a gentleman named Madhavan Nair about 33 years ago, Mm -hmm. who was working as an individual consultant uh, for a local company, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois, Mm -hmm. uh, part of the HCSC group. Uh, He did a project for them. Um, He... he, um, he was trying to understand data integrity issues and claims and paying claims, realized that the use is across many different customers, perhaps across many different verticals, and uh, decided to create a, a software out of it and was entrepreneurial enough to create the company. At that time, it was called Unitech Systems. You, and, and so when did you make the name change to InfoGix? We, we changed the company name to InfoGix in 2006. I joined the company in 2004. I was brought in to create our next generation of products and take them to market mm-hmm. um, and started running the company about uh, a little over four years ago. Gotcha. So you have, I understand, about, what, 450-plus employees? Yeah, 450 employees worldwide. We are headquartered, like you mentioned earlier, here in Naperville, mm-hmm. uh, where almost half our workforce is. We have a couple of offices in India and then offices in Australia and Europe as well. Mm-hmm. So what do all these people do so that my nine-year-old niece can understand? <laughs> uh, well, the, a large group of the team uh, um, develops the software that we provide to our customers. Mm-hmm. So they, they write the code. Developers, they write the, the code. developers, they test the code. And, and make it ready to be consumed by customers. Mm-hmm. And there's a large portion of the company that is responsible for working with the customers so that they can actually use the software in their day-to-day operations. How and would they use that data, soft, the software? For example? Absolutely. So the kind of customers that we work with, uh, they are very large organization in, in, in the industries you mentioned, mm-hmm. large banks, um, mm-hmm. uh, large insurance companies. And what happens uh, is, is when... Data first comes into these companies. These could be banking transactions. These could be claims. They have to go through many different processes, many different applications before statements are generated for Mm -hmm. customers, before reports are generated for regulators, Mm -hmm. or before the financials are made made public. Mm -hmm. We make sure at every point that data is accurate, consistent, and reliable. And we are, and the customer is able to analyze that data to improve and expand their business. Gotcha. So who would I be at one of those major uh, insurance companies or financial institutions? What's your who is your customer? CEO, CTO, who is it? Absolutely. So most of the time, it's uh, either uh, senior operational executives, which mm-hmm. which could range from. Um, VP of finance to VP of claims um, to perhaps even the chief operating officer. At other times, it's the CFO's organization, um, again, making sure the financial data that they have is data that they can trust and rely on. So if I'm one of those C-level people, 
How are you going to tell me you're going to be different than any – you have competitors, I'm assuming, out there. So how are you different than your competitors? Absolutely. The first thing I'll tell you that we are the only company who let you sleep in peace at, at night oh. because we are keeping an eye on your data all the time. We keep looking at all the data and in, in real time. Mm-hmm. Best-in-class software platform that has been around for 30-plus years, a lot of domain expertise that has been uh, sourced from all other – all Fortune 500 customers – and the verticals that, that we play in. So your ideal customer, what does it look like? Tell me who, <laughs> who you'd like to add that you don't have, ideal uh, customer. Absolutely. So, so currently we already have, you know, eight of the top 10 financial services organizations, mm-hmm. eight of the top 10 insurance companies, and, and so on and so forth. There are a few large organizations in these verticals that we'd like to go after. Our typical customer is, uh, is a customer who relies a lot on the data has a lot of data and, and in many cases in a highly regulated industry. Gotcha. If you're just tuning in, uh, this is the Get Down to Business Playmaker Spotlight, brought to you in part by Vistage International. And uh, we're talking tonight to Sumit Nijewan, president of InfoGix Incorporated. So uh, how important are the people on your staff, recruiting the right people and building a great team? Tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. The people um, on our team are very important to us. They are our strongest asset or our biggest asset. We are an extremely customer-focused organization, and the best way to um, expand our relationships with our customers, keep our focus on customers, is uh, to, to have folks with, with a customer-oriented um, um, personality on, on staff, and we make sure that, that we have that. Does that um, how do you go about attracting some of these uh, custom dev people, custom right. development mm-hmm. people, and some of the other people that are highly skilled? How do you attract those in this uh, job market? Absolutely. It is hard because um, there are there are very few of them, but we have an excellent culture in place. Like I mentioned, we are very customer-focused. We create an environment which is uh, based on uh, flexible work environments, which is based on flexible hours. We don't prescribe how you get your work done. We, we emphasize on getting good results instead. And quite frankly, we offer a very competitive uh, compensation and benefits package. Mm-hmm. Do you have people that work virtually for the company as well? Uh, at times, yes. Mm-hmm. And you have operations overseas? We do have operations overseas, and, and, and uh, team members get to travel to our overseas offices as well as needed, which is um, which is always a good experience to learn from from other cultures and other geographies. What is the biggest challenge you face today? Um, our biggest challenge is uh, how do we um, replicate the successes we've always had faster so that we can grow faster. Mm. In the last four years, the InfoGix business has doubled. Our goal is to double it again in the next three to five years. Wow. And for that, we need a, a few more good people mm-hmm. fast enough. Now you guys are... A privately held firm, or you're not publicly traded? We are, we are not public. We are um, um, privately held. Mm-hmm. And uh, what part of change would you say in the industry uh, are you dealing with? I mean, what technology changes things, right? Changes the game. All the way. What, what other changes, including technology, are you dealing with as the CEO? Right, right. Um, at the risk of uh, sounding very cliche, the only mm-hmm. thing that is constant in our business is change. change. And again, the types of organizations that we deal with and the verticals that we deal with, they are constantly subjected to change. You've heard about big data, essentially, you know, lots and lots of data coming in. We've heard of more and more regulation in each of the verticals that we play in, changing business models because of need for more rapid ROI. All of that is causing our customers to change, and we are staying lockstep and barrel with them to to make sure we are there to help as needed. You mentioned a little bit about doubling in size. Did you say in two to three years? Uh um, in three to five years. Three to five years. So what what is the rest of the vision you're doubling in three to five years? What what vision? How many more offices? How many more customers? Absolutely. Well, first, um, within our existing customers, again, we have very large customers. Each customer is a market in itself. Gotcha. We want to increase a footprint in those customers. Go broader, Sec- broader, wider, deeper with them? Wider and deeper with there them. You know. Second, mm-hmm. within the verticals or industries we play in, um, we want to keep um, keep adding new customers to our set of customers, and then potentially increase our footprint in other geographies. Mm-hmm. We double in size in terms of employees at 450 now. Are you at 900 by then, five years from now? I, I don't have an exact number for that, but, um, yeah, there will definitely be growth um, in, in the number of team members as well. So for those people that are looking for a job, custom dev people that want a great culture and a good <laughs> source of pay and comp, uh, they may want to give you a ring. So we're just about out of time, but uh, how do they get in touch with you, Sumit? What's the best way to reach out to you guys? Well, a lot of our information, our contact information is listed on our website, 
Um, please please go on the website, look at the contact information, contact um, our, our HR team if, if you're applying for a position, our marketing team if you want to learn more about our business. So www.infogix, that's I-N-F-O-G-I-X dot com. That's right. right. All right. Well, I'm afraid we're just about out of time, but I'd like to thank Sumit for joining me, the president of InfoGix, for being with us today. Thank you so much again, Sumit. And I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in to the Playmaker Spotlight once again. I'm Dick Smith. You can reach me through my email address at dick.smith at vistagechair.com or check me out on LinkedIn. Stay tuned for more now of our Get Down to Business show with Salome Klein. When all is said and done.